Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm here with sort of like a follow-up to the Skin Fetish line from Pat McGrath. I got the powder. This is what it looks like. I got it in the shade Medium Deep 4. Um, it came in the black packaging with the gold writing. Typical Pat McGrath, but this is what it looks like. It has a total of 5 grams. Um, this is what the inside looks like. It comes with this little white covering over top and when you lift it up well now that I'm on camera I'm gonna take it off and it has a um it's very messy I'm surprised for $55 because it retails for $55 that it doesn't have a sifter I would prefer a sifter where you can like you know twist it and control how much comes out it has like the sponge that spongy mesh instead is in there this is the color of the powder. Now, um, it's very, very rich in color. It's almost like a rich coffee kind of brown. I've used this powder before because after I did my foundation review, and I'm gonna link that video below in case you, know, you wanna watch that video where I reviewed the foundation. And if you guys have watched that video, you'll know that the foundation was kind of warm on me but I love it I love it mixed with my concealer I, I wore it ever since I got it I love the way it looks but since this powder is so red I tried it on my entire face before and it just looked too red so for me it's a powder that I can use around my face I'm gonna demo that as I finish the rest of my makeup I've already done my eyes since I'm focusing on my face I'm also gonna swatch I'm gonna do comparison swatches of the powders that I usually use to set my face in comparison um, with that. I'm just gonna give a little bit about what the powder says. You can always go on the Sephora website if you're interested in the powder and see what it says, but it's supposed to be buildable, weightless, and it's supposed to have a blurring effect. It's supposed to keep your foundation in place. Um, what else it says? It's lighter than air. It blends very seamlessly and it says it has like a silky luxe velvety feel and it does when you rub the powder like between your fingers it's like really soft so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm just gonna start putting my foundation on um, I'm gonna speed this up because I don't think you guys need to see me putting foundation on again like I said I'm gonna, I'm gonna link my video of the foundation review in the description box and I'm in deep 29. For concealer, I'm going to use my Too Faced Born This Way concealer in Maple. All right, to set my under eye, I'm gonna go in with my Fenty powder, and this time I'm gonna use Honey because since that is so red and so warm, the Pat McGrath powder, I'm gonna go in, because this has a lot of yellow under my eye to set my concealer. All right, so now I'm gonna go about setting my face. So like I said, this is um, too red. There are five shades um, in this line. This is the second to last darker shade. The one before this is medium three. Looks very yellow, but for me, I think it would be an under eye setting powder. I wish now that it was in stores where I could have swatched it because if they were in stores, I probably would have gotten the medium three to use as an under eye powder. But um, I'm still gonna make this work. I don't think I'm going to uh, bring it back so let me just show you comparisons of the powders that I usually use to set my face and I'm gonna start off with the Fenty powder in hazelnut because when I used it the first time I set my face with this so this is hazelnut right here hazelnut is has like a nice yellow undertone and I like my powders to have a yellow undertone and then 
The outer powder that I've been using to set my face is the MAC MSF and this is in dark. This also has a nice yellow undertone. As you can see, that's the one next to it. And the third powder that I was using, and I'm gonna swatch it, is my Charlotte Tilbury powder. And I think, what shade is this? This is, I think it's medium deep or medium dark, if I'm not mistaken. So these are the three swatched. And these are, as you can see, has a yellow undertone. I like my powders to be yellow. Now here is the Pat McGrath powder. And let me show you guys again. I hate that it has, has the mesh, it's so messy. So this is it on my finger. As you can see, it's so warm. And I'm gonna put it above all of the other powders. So as you can see, compared to those, this more has a red neutral undertone. And I don't like my powders to be red or neutral. I personally prefer a yellow powder. So how I used it, the first time I used it, I went around the perimeter of my face. And I wish it was close to a powder I can use all over my face. I would have loved to see how it looks sitting over top the foundation because it's supposed to be such a sheer buildable finish and supposed to you know have blurring effects and stuff like that so what i did when i um used the powder i went around the center of my face mostly with my mac msf which i'm going to do now so i did my forehead and like here and around here just to uh set the foundation in place i usually like to use a brush i mean a sponge to put on my powder but with this powder i i don't mind going in with a brush all right so for the powder i have been using my beauty blender to like set it and then i went in with a brush and buffed it out so i'm gonna put this on over my contour so i'm not gonna use my regular fenty contour today my the contour palette as you can see this is like so red but if you're this complexion, this is such a stunning color. It's so rich and so beautiful. And before it settles down, I, I just went in with this brush and sort of like blend it out. And so now I ended up with a, it's almost orange sort of too. So if you're NC50 and MAC like me and you're like, you know, use the same shades of foundation as, as me. This can give you like gauge what the powder looks like and if you want to um, try it. Like how I would usually use a contour powder. I was not planning on buying a $55 contour powder, but I think if I had gotten it from Sephora, I probably would have just bring it bag but I don't feel like sending anything back to Pat McGrath and all that stuff so this is how I ended up using the powder because like I said it's as you can see it's just too rich and too red for all over the face so I'm just gonna finish up uh, my makeup on camera and I'm going in with blush and I'm using Mac extra dimension blush in telling glow and this just gives like a nice peachy gold wash of color so pretty all right so i'm gonna set everything with my fenty my fenty my murphy setting spray this has been my favorite setting spray for highlighter i'm going in with my mac loose powder highlighter and this is in golden bronze i haven't used this in a while but I use it when I um I did the foundation review. And I've forgotten how pretty it is. Love the gold in it. Very nice. Alright, to finish up with my lips, I went in with uh True Brown K from uh Kylie Jenner, and I'm just gonna use my dose of colors cork. All right, so this is my finished makeup look. 
And like I said, for the powder, I ended up with pretty much a bronzing and, and or contour powder. $55, way too expensive. Um, I don't love this mesh. I would prefer a sifter. Oops. And um, I wish the color had more yellow where I can use it all over my face, but I just really wanted to come and show you guys how it worked out for me, just in case you're my skin tone, you're considering buying um, the powder because I noticed this particular shade has been sold out on Sephora from like the next day. So, um, like I said, I'm very disappointed. I couldn't um, put it all over my face because when I did it initially off camera, it just looked too red. Like my whole face looked like burnt kind of red and it just offset, you know, how beautiful the foundation is. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. Oh, and um, like I had said, there's gonna be a lot of foundation reviews. I was torn between doing the new Urban Decay foundation because the last foundation they came out with all night, it was a disaster for me and I noticed this one is also matte, but now I see Anastasia is coming out with foundations and powders and I, I'm definitely gonna pick that up and I think I'm gonna do a review on it. Let me, let just tell me if you guys would like to see a review on the Anastasia, the new foundation and stuff because I'm interested in it. Anyway guys, thank you so much for watching and I'm gonna see you again in my next video. Bye guys.